the paradise that we may expect really. The perfect creation of God allows that every evil is corrected through the same free will allowed to every man. In fact, to be himself means to suffer the same limit of his delimitation. In fact, the negation of every negation is but a surprise, an affirmation. Every limit, every determination, every, 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 in good and evil, spiritually, and in real bodies, materially, is something that is in the direction of his and its victorious against those limits. This is a truth coming from the first reason that the Lord of our being is the absolute. We can be absolutely convinced that by this reason our world appears in a condition because the exact opposite condition the existence of these two conditions equal and the contrary one are as plus one and minus one whose addition is zero this zero is the proof that zero is in absolute what appears to be existent. Simultaneously, in the negative direction of magnetism, antimatter, and in the positive inverse direction of electricity and matter, the absolute love of a foundation of a unity and the Trinity assigned to the Almighty God is a mathematical one. It is this equation one equal to ten tenths that in the Christian names is Holy Spirit is equal to the Father multiplied interactive with a son. The Holy Spirit or the fundamental unit of everything is the strength that joins together father and son, otherwise said as the first chaos and its first effect well, where one equal to ten tenths generally is one equal to n divided by n, we have the universe as an immense number n number of things that is unitary existent because of the existence of the equal and the contrary n that exists as its denominator as its time. The real consequence of the absolute strength of this number one is that one divided by one divided n brings to have n. Therefore, since every one of us is one divided n of the n universe, the almighty power of the absolute 
that is presenting as the fourth of the number one will give to every nth part the n quantity of the universal existence. All this world will be given to every one of us, to every its part. It will happen with the triumph of the free will of everyone the negations of today, which are suffered by everyone, will put in everyone the absolute will that these negations should be completely defeated in an infinite victory of everyone, such as everyone will have the idea to have it. To have today only one divided n where the rule is n, this is a mortification and everyone will win his war against that limit. Throw the winning absolutely that limit. Every limit is the cross assumed by a God in every one of us. And we have the divine example of Jesus that defeated his cross. We will do in the same way, but uh, who will establish the limit of his personal cross will be only the Holy Spirit of every person. Therefore, who today suffers his limit and is considering that it is is a true and proper be latching in fortune will conquer the greatest surprise that on the contrary those limits so badly suffered will be as themselves is immense eternal good. Now we have to consider a lot of different latching of a fortune. When they are referring on our sense of justice, of love, of richness of spirit, we appear to be defeated in our God intentions. Well, we'll win these battles forever. It is the real meaning of the Sermon of the Month of Jesus. He told about every good fight of every man. In paradise, the greatest happy will be the man that in this wrong world has fighted the greatest fights about justice and about love. But every man will win his personal battle, with the difference that not all the battles are exactly the ideal one. But in the world, not everything exists as ideal. In fact, there are the bodies, and their matter is not a spiritual matter. Well, also these real things will have their victory in paradise. It will be material and not spiritual, but 
also with the spiritual implication, since uh, the bodies in this world are the media dedicated to give a body to every idea as regarding the spirit, as regarding the bodies in their matter. In fact, every possible idea, if uh, not assumes a body, suffers of latch of uh, definition. The love, the greatest sentiment of every spirit, it needs a real body in order that it can be really existent. Also, if in a poor and a simple figuration, the love is one only sentiment. But there are a lot of different real cases in which this love can be really lived, assuming all etapes of beauty. Even the love, it needs real butters warm of all types to be happy in every possible way. Therefore, the Almighty God created all the possible real situations about body and spirit that should be searching about their concrete love. It is not a fortuitous case that the greatest impulse of every man is that of the sex, the passion, the paradise touched in the moment of the reaching of the orgasm is at the base of the modern real world. Why? Do you think that in paradise this paradise is latching? If think so, it is better that you change your opinion, since it is wrong. The paradise is the extrapolation of the last meaning of this real context. And since this world is based on the sex, that is the fundamental that allows the generation in their continuation, also in paradise, the sex will have its same existence and will be the privileged system through which the souls love each other in a concrete way. But with a fundamental ex difference. Here, in the real world of today, I am only myself, and my body in matter, a spirit. Afterward, in paradise, every privacy, material and spiritual, is defeated through the general communion among all the bodies and all the souls. Don Giussani of Ciel said that communion is freedom. This, that today is impossible on our real world based on the division, will exist in the other world based on the inverse of the division on the multiplication. So, the real, concrete love that today is divided between two persons in paradise will be multiplied because every love that existed exists and that will exist in this world that today has been provided will allow it without any personal limits will be multiplied. So, 
not only in paradise, there will be the presence of the sex, but uh, the multiplication among all the sexual action that are existed among old men. It will be the true conquest of that poor ideal of the free love, today impossible because of the false love for himself of every man today. Therefore, it will be the poor love of the soul of every man put in condition to assume in its spirit all the other situation of loving, today negated by the necessity to divide everything among all the men and to privatize everything. The situation will be this that we already know, but that no in this real world are privated. The man who today suffers the latching of what is in other dominion, in paradise will have this dominion, since in paradise the existence is the new visitation, the revisitation of this same world, and every soul puts in action this revisitation only if he desires to do it. Heaven will be the banquet of life, and each one will have as long as it likes and is to his liking. For the interest there is always a missing, the need to overcome a personal cross. So they who now make a plenty of good sex, which is a beautiful thing that exists between a man and a woman, and the borders on the vice and the, the unnatural love and the like, in heaven will have no desire for sex. And the love between gay men and women will be not wanted and will disappear. Sex is not a game, but it is for the procreation that two men and two women can not to throw their sex. Vice and perversion in this world there are, and when it will be like in Sodom, we know how the Bible has desired to incinerate this town, even if all men were perverts. A general perversion does not become a good rule. They are not men, those who make the rules of what is good and what is not. The fact is that today's world is very close to that of Sodom and Gomorrah. What existed before Christ 2012 is the same that there is in symmetry in the 20, 20 after the Dominum. So the gay of today will be excluded by their paradise. Sodom and Gomorrah will not have their paradise. Oh, they will have 
the just paradise because of the real life that is not only the eternal increase in the timeline that we today are perceiving. The life of today is in its positive going on as it was for the God's people when it was living in Egypt. But afterward there is the exodus and the, the certification of the same life perceived in its going back to the condition of the beginning in which every man was an innocent child not yet victim of the sexuality all the men will return in the heaven through the cest of every mother and every father the sex is really the door that carries everyone in paradise but with the innocent condition of every innocent child again having made in positive experience of his impure love about the body eh? not about the spirit when after the believed mortal point will leave everything in the inverse dynamic will correct the perversion of before in everything in the inverse dynamic in fact every perversion when it is inverted is corrected all the, 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 the defiances induced by the life that transforms a poor innocent child in a monster will be corrected by the crossed tests proposed by the infinite system of God. If not, the life would be a punishment and a condemnation for everyone. Everyone goes toward own sin. Life is a perpetual debacle, but these victories that are latching are our cross, and we all need our cross. He who seems so poor, the impure, and those who seem perverse, every man will be the only arbiter at the end of his binary life experience with inbound and outbound he will establish its perfect balance what is his own interest each man will do as the double entry made by the accountants, the full proof system to determine their own interests. And then, in the sciences eternal in heaven, everyone will have done of their proper interests and of their needs their powerful God. The heaven will appear a real one, like this same world. The paradise will be this same world, in which anyone will be whatever he wants to be. The others, like they were no more themselves, but himself. In this way, if you love a person that today does not love you, in paradise you can be really that apparent enemy of today. Enemy, because he was successful in that exact love you desired. At 
one only condition. Today you have not to consider as enemy whom was successful because you in the new visitation of this same situation you can live your love in himself only through this successful character of that man. This is true in everything. You can be successful only through the successful character already designed by Providence. This one is the theater, the world, the universe. We can obtain by imagination every part, every character of those that we already well know. We are not put in these situations in order to have another in paradise of our reality. We can have the reality that today belongs to the others. Like for every actor there are a lot of characters that can become own ones. The important is the willing, because, but only in paradise, where there is a will, there is a way. Our free will is to define and choose our personal willing. Is that of the free election of our personal God will be the God that will love.